What's up, people? Today, I will be reviewing X2 in 4K Ultra HD, and I got that coming up for you next. So the first three X-Men films just came out in 4K. I've already reviewed the first X-Men film, so now it's time for me to talk about X2. This is one of those just pinnacle movies that I will almost, like, I don't think I will ever forget seeing this movie in theaters. I had just graduated high school literally right before I went to go see this movie. We left from the high school to the movie theater and then we all just sat and watched this movie we had a great time and i loved it and i felt like this was the x-men film that i wanted at the time that this came out and it was just a great time in my life and uh, this really kicked it off i was responding to the fact that this was just a more confident x-men film and you see that from the very first scene where nightcrawler storms the white house it is just a great great action scene and uh right there brian singer i i will say he will never get any better as far as staging action than he did in that scene and in um the scene where uh Wolverine takes out the military that is uh, storming the uh, Professor X's mansion. And that is just two excellent action scenes that are in this movie that really state that, hey, this is a more confident X-Men film that is going to give you better action than that first film just because we have the budget now and we're going to use it and that doesn't mean that we are going to lose all of the character development that we went through in the first film because this movie definitely picks up on that and it follows through with that and it really gives these characters a place to go in the future and uh, I won't talk about where they go with that in the future but I feel like for this movie it was a very solid idea. I loved this movie when I saw it, and I still really like it today. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This is probably, I'd really have to think about it, but probably my favorite X-Men film. This one was given a 4K digital intermediate like the first X-Men did, and uh, really, they look pretty similar only the first x-men film had a lot more uh ways to go to look the way that it looked in 4k and this one um it didn't have that much of a way to go i will say that the clarity here is still excellent but it was good on that blu-ray itself but the edges here are a lot more crisper and a lot clearer a lot more defined Detail when it comes to the CGI is what stands out the most and pretty much every action scene just really pops off the screen with a lot more detail that you will not see on that Blu-ray. Now with the HDR, like the first X-Men film, I feel like that is where this truly does shine. I do see a lot of correction being done to skin tones here. They were a lot hotter in the Blu-ray and they are tempered down here. Like the increased detail with the CGI, it also is blended a lot more into this film and it just pops a lot more and at the same time blends a lot more with the film making it seem more organic and not just scream CGI. This is a really good step up from the uh, original Blu-ray, and for that, I am going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now, getting into the audio quality here, unfortunately, like I said in my X-Men review, there is no Dolby Atmos track here. Instead, we are given the same DTS HD uh, 5.1 mix that is on the Blu-ray. Fox, why do you constantly do this to us? But hey, 
this is what we have and it is pretty damn good from the opening scene with nightcrawler you get some serious speaker separation with him uh transporting himself from one side of the screen to the other that is all done expertly well along with action being a lot more heavy in the surrounds here where um you get some really great action in the surrounds also with the score in the surrounds i feel like surrounds are constantly in use here i feel like also this is just a uh wider uh sound field for this particular film this steps everything up in a way that you would want a sequel to be stepped up and how you want it to sound uh bass response here is stepped up as well especially with the x-jet that is all expertly expertly done and um for that i do have to give this a 9 out of 10 i would give it a 10 out of 10 but no dolby atmos no 10 out of 10 and getting into the digital copy here this is a fox digital copy so what that pretty much means is you have to go to their website you have to put in the code and then you can view this on itunes where uh it is just the standard uh hd version and not the 4k version and as far as special features here goes, this is where things get dicey for uh, this particular box set. Because, well, on the original Blu-ray, all of the special features were on a separate Blu-ray disc for X2 and The Last Stand. And here, uh, basically what you have is not the special features Blu-ray disc. So... Basically, only the audio commentaries are on the 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc. So only the audio commentaries are on this box set for X2. You get an audio commentary with Brian Singer and the uh, DP. And then you get a second audio commentary track with the producers of the film and the writers. They are both really good audio commentary tracks that I definitely uh, suggest you guys listen to because they're very informative but unfortunately there was a whole lot on that second special feature blu-ray disc that is just not in this pack and i really really strongly hate this i will give this a three out of ten do not take away all of these special features because they're actually really really good and getting into my last looks of x2 look this is an excellent adaptation of the uh, graphic novel God saves, man kills. Um, this is what that's what this loosely is based on this storyline, and uh, this is a truly great X Men film. You have s excellent action. You have the character moments that you want for these characters that were brought in here from the first film that are very much carried over into this film. I don't really feel like we lose anything by having this be a a more action-packed film and that's not always the case with franchise films and i do believe that this is one of those cases where the sequel is better than the original and when you add up all my scores for x2 on 4k blu-ray uh that comes out to a 29 out of 40 it would have been a lot higher but they actually took away special features that aren't on this particular box set so i had to ding it a lot for that and coming up next i am getting into x-men the last stand and then i gotta get into some halloween and i have the all coming up for you guys real soon so subscribe so you know when those videos come out you know you want to see them and i will see all of you next time